Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to prepare a report with COBOL. The COBOL I'm using here is an old version of COBOL, but in any case, all the COBOLs are very similar, so you should not have any problem in order to compile or at least to understand the concept. Uh, what we have here is, uh, is a data file that contains only three fields, a products file, and uh, few, few records. I mean, 20 or 25 records, no more than that. What I'm going to do is to open the file, I'm going to read each record, and I'm going to print all those records to an output file to see it later with RPV Reports Viewer. I'm going to use RPV, but you can use uh, Notepad, or you can use even Chrome, or any other viewer in order to see the generated file. It's a text file that we are going to we are going to use. Um, or you can send it directly to a printer. Here we can see the select of the file. The file is an indexed file and it has only few records. And here we have the FD and as you can see it only has three fields and one filler. The three fields are the prod ID as a code the product name, the name of the product, and the price of the product. Here we can see the select of the output file. The output file is a plain file, a text file, organization line sequential. Additionally, in the working, I will declare the lines to print the report. Here we can see the detail line that includes the variables that you could see in the FD of the data file. All of them ended with the PRT. I have also some other lines in order to print the titles of the report. And here we can see the process to generate the report. First of all, I will open the files, the products and output files. And then I will print the titles. After that, we will read between a perform and an end perform all the records contained in the product file. For each red product, I mean, if status ISM equals double zero, that means it could read, I will move the fields to these variables to print the line to the output file. As you can see, this has no complexity and it doesn't even use any condition. It reads all the records from the file. We close products file, we close the output file, and here we will make a call system to call the RPV viewer, this rpv.exe, followed by the name of the output file that we've just generated. In this case, repprod.txt. And here we can see the generated report with RPV. We have some alternatives from the viewer, although if we see it using the notepad, we will see it almost identically. It's very simple, it's a text file. Okay. Since the output file is a text file, we don't have any possibility to add effects to the text. Since we are using RPV, the things are different because this tool supports these features. For example, if we want to show this column in bold, we could do it like this. In the printing line, the detail, this detail line, before I show the column, I will add between double brackets some commands that RPV will accept and execute, but it will not show. Here I will say B equals yes, which means that the font will be bold. Now, after I printed the column, I will close it with a B equals no, B equals N to show the font normally. Upper or lower case make no difference. I compile, I execute, and now we can see the, the report with the column in bold.
Okay, now let's suppose that we want to show these numbers in red color. Can we do that? I will come here and before I print the number, I will add a command to send color equals 12, that means red. And after I printed the number, I will set the color back to zero, which means black. Additionally, I will show the numbers in bold, so I will move this command from here to here. I compile, I execute, and we can see now the column in red and bold. Stop. How do I highlight text? Just, it's very simple. Just hold the shift key and mark with the mouse and when you release, you highlight everything in yellow or any other color you choose. And how is the file that we have generated from our program in COBOL? We can see it here. We can see the text and we can also see the commands to set the font bold or to set the color. These commands between double brackets. Remember that these commands will not be displayed by the viewer, but they will be executed. They do not exist as text. Okay, now, what happens if I want to use a larger font to show the titles? The font that we're using here is the Korean New 8 points. It's the default font. I will increase the size to 12 and see what happens. I will do it right here using the generated file to test. And if it works, I will modify the program. So what will I do? Here in the middle of the text, I will open double brackets and I will type S equals 12 S means size, and then I close double brackets. And after the titles, I will set back the size to 8. I'll save the file, and I reload it from the viewer. It looks great, so I am going to do it from the program. Then I go to the program, and here, I'm going to type between double brackets the size equals 12. And then, after the titles, I am going to set the size to 8. I compile, I execute, and we can see the report again. Thank you for watching this video. You can download this example from the link that you see in the description.